no one goes into medical care that doesn't want to make a positive change for somebody else. I think that what Phoenix Children's Hospital provides to families is immeasurable. Patients that we care for are pediatric, so the age goes anywhere from one day old up into mid-20s, sometimes even older because these are patients that we've been seeing for so many years. They're a person. They're a child. They're a family that's in need. They're people looking for answers. Each patient's going to be unique. Some of them are going to have longer cases than another one. So the biggest challenge that radiology departments deal with is how to best manage our time for the patients and how to best allocate our staff to handle their needs. One of the things I'm always interested in here is, is patient flow and how to make the transition of patients between different types of care as seamless as possible and really be able to see more patients. We can't see how long it takes to get a patient prepped for our study and how long it takes for a study to happen before we get the result back. And we're always looking for ways to shave a few seconds or minutes off that process. I think that would help her from a scheduling standpoint if they could. Philip's performance bridge has really given us that insight, that deep insight into what's going on that we haven't had before. Those times were based off this system. Performance bridge showed me that the type of protocols that we were running weren't consistent. So I was able to go back and actually remove over 60 different exam cards that were slowing us down. It also showed me exactly at what times of the day I was slow and what time of the days I was busy. It gave me the ability to better schedule my outpatients in with my inpatients and give us more time during our day where maybe we didn't realize we had it before. Yeah, and then scroll down, it's gonna show you your prep times, protocol times. So I think what was important about the team for Performance Bridge was that they were able to come to us, not just drop some program in our lap and say, figure it out. They were there every step of the way, showing us exactly how to use the tools and what tools we may not know about that are there and available to us. So prep time's 14 and a half minutes. As an average. We always are trying something new and innovative. Phillips is always ready to say, if that doesn't work, what's another option? They're always going to try and find the better solution. Innovation and you, Phillips.